Hey, what's going on, everyone? And good morning. It's your girl, Miss Young Little Cole. I'm coming to you straight out of NYC on what might be a beautiful morning. So, I want to get into this commentary about Kevin Samuels. And I want to say that it's been a year since I've learned of Kevin Samuels. And I got to say, the Kevin Samuels phenomenon is real. Whether you like him, whether you love him, whether you can't stand him, whether you don't tolerate him, whether you're just, you know, indifferent to him, whether you hate his guts, Kevin Samuels is here to stay. I said it. He is. What he did to you with his YouTube channel has been remarkable and has been groundbreaking. What he has done for YouTube has been, in my opinion, he changed the game to where people are paying attention to videos about brand consultant, image branding, relationship consultant, in terms of financial consulting, when it comes to single women, particularly single black women, wanting a high value man, you know, the tell it like it is approach. It has garnered not just high reviews, but I'm sure the advertising has gone up the roof. YouTube's made money off for of the Kevin Samuels brand and Kevin Samuel himself has been successful with it. What I want to talk about, about Kevin Samuels, is how this phenomenon occurred. 2020, COVID. Quarantine, shutdown. People were home. They weren't either making money or they were making money from home. And people's attitudes towards life change. People became more focused on family Focus on themselves, how to improve themselves. And it was a lot of, in my, from what I've seen, people were taking the time out to really work on them, not just health wise, but also spiritually and emotionally and mentally. And you had this man who has been on YouTube for a couple of years talking about colognes, perfumes, fashion, clothes how to create an image for yourself, a persona for yourself, and be successful with it. He talks about relationships. Not only did he find a niche, but he also mentioned how successful his seminars on relationships, on successful couples retreats, how all the couples that met at his relationship seminars, their marriages are successful, they're building families. And he also stated that if you want a high-value man, you have to be a high value woman. You just can't say you want it and you have this this menial job and you're a certain weight and it's not going to happen because high value men, they want a specific type of woman. And I've always known about this through my mom. My mom, they were called trophies back in the day, but it's a hard pill to swallow. But if you're trying to get in a particular world, it's all about image and branding. And it's a sad thing to say if you are an idealistic person, but reality-wise, he was right. I've always known about it. But Kevin Samuels took it a step further and called out the nonsense in the black community. And black men were like, yes, finally we have an ally. And black women was like, I hate this bastard. I hate him. And even all the black women agreed with him. You know, the black men. And in the strangest way of things, his commentary has been the topic of discussion. So where it's like, you may not, you may not like what he's saying, but you got to admit this is truth. It's the truth. But his opposition didn't start with black women. It started with Tommy Sotomayor. Because Tommy Sotomayor was criticizing black women's behavior for years. But unlike Kevin Samuels, Tommy Sotomayor Meyer never gave real solutions. He was just talking about black women, calling them, calling, not me, because I ain't no BT-1000, but calling black women BT-1000s, saying horrible things, and, and really bringing out the worst of the worst. Whereas Kevin Samuels, there are times in the show when he does bring out the best or, you know, talks about what you can do as a black woman if you really, really want to improve yourself. Except for, depending on 
how you look, you ain't going to get a high value man, but he will say, just get a regular man. What's the problem? But he revealed the psychology of a lot of black women who are living in la la land. They want to have their cake and eat it too. And I'm saying it like that, meaning if you want a high valued man and you want someone who makes 300 K a year, he's not, and this is a reality. He's not going to look at a woman who doesn't have their business together. It's just a reality. And that's more ways than one. So the Kevin Samuel effect is here to stay. Kevin Samuels ain't going nowhere. Tommy Sotomayor suck it up. And by the way, Tommy Sotomayor is beefing with Kwame Brown because Kwame Brown was going to do an interview with Kevin Samuels. And I find it interesting that Tommy Sotomayor could have been where Kevin Samuels is if he would not have talked about black women in the worst way ever. And that is the reason why Kevin Samuels is at the top and um, Tommy is where he is. And another thing too, I want to say what Kevin Samuels talked about, a lot of it isn't, you know, it's not original in a sense. It's stuff that we heard on YouTube for years, but he knew how to brand it because he was an image consultant and he was a branding consultant. And I gotta say, he's, I think he's good at it. And I think he's good at what he does. And this has come from a black woman. And I'd rather his commentary and to hear it than from what you're hearing in the black woman sphere. I'm not going to say the names, but you know who they are. The ones I can't stand. The ones that want to abolish the, the existence of black men and end them. Yeah. Kevin Samuel's not trying to abolish black women. So I think a lot of the hate and criticism... We got to reevaluate it. Now, I will say one thing before I go. I find it interesting that when he did say that Kevin Samuel, Kevin Samuel did say that, you know, we should accept black men who are gay and we need to acknowledge that their relationships are valuable as well. He got criticism for that, especially since people do believe Kevin Samuels is gay. He also got criticism from his, from, from like the marriages he's had. And how his daughter came forward and she didn't speak highly of him. And you know, that's really jacked up. I don't know the semantics of it. I know his first wife or his second wife came forward. But um, yeah, Kevin Samuels, pretty interesting dude, how he got, how he became big. And I do believe a lot of it had to do with COVID. And also Joe Budden, when he was on his podcast, it was just the algorithm, it went through the roof. He knows business. He knows Branson. He's good at what he does. And Kevin Samuels went to college for pre-med. He went to pre-med. I believe he attended the University of Oklahoma, if I'm not, if I'm mistaken, or Indiana. I know he's a Kappa, and I have cousins who are Kappas. And he even said that fraternity, blacks and fraternities do much better than blacks who weren't in fraternities in college. And that's a whole nother topic that I do want to touch just before the year wraps up. And I just want to say that I don't have a dislike towards Kevin Samuels as a black woman. I don't. I don't. Because I feel as though, like I'm saying, if you can't handle Kevin Samuels on brand, don't call in. But if you really, really, really can't handle it and you work for a Fortune 500 company, you really not going to be able to handle it when your boss yells and screams at you. Yeah. And what Kevin Samuels has taught me, you got to have a thick skin if you want to make it. If you want to make it in this world, you got to have a thick skin. You got to handle criticism. And another thing, too, is that it's okay to want to make yourself better. It's nothing wrong with it because you never know. It can help change your finances. It can help you get better connections. It can also help you be around different people. And yeah, you might be able to find the guy that you want or, you know, if you're a man, the woman that you want. You know, image is everything. And he has always said that. And I do feel that that's an honest truth. And I'm signing off. It's your girl, I'm saying a little call. I will be back 
probably within an hour and a half, I got to take care of some things. And I want to talk, I'm going to talk to y'all real soon. Okay. Take care.